Yeah. Let's call the birth control shoes. Yeah, Why birth is that? Yeah. Why is that? Nobody's gonna get near you when they see those shoes. <laughs> okay, we have Eileen here. How are you doing, Eileen? I haven't seen you in a while, right? Yeah. Three months, four months? I, think long I saw you in February, so, oh, five months. This is called the pandemic toes. I haven't seen you since the pandemic, right? <laughs> You've been staying home most of the time? Yeah, once in a while I go to the store. For, I mean, if somebody, the other day, my friend took me to the store and she has a handicapped grandson. God bless him, but mm -hmm. I was so exhausted after I had to do this shocking the smart final. I felt like I'd, I had walked to Huntington Beach and back. Oh, really? Was there, was there a long line? There was a long line. Mm -hmm. And you go to the end of the store and everybody gets in line to go to get in the grocery to the checkout. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh. These nails are long. We haven't seen you in a while, right? But you brought a lot of shoes for us today for the, our shoe drive. Our shoe drive is going really well. Oh, good. Yeah, we have a lot of people cleaning their homes, right? They're staying home, so I clean my whole house too. So a lot of people are cleaning their closets and uh, garage, so they have a lot of shoes, you know? So we've been picking up a lot of shoes. I love bringing my old birth control shoes from the Air Force. Those shoes are so ugly, but... I what, just keep those because they're good to have. What what kind of what kind of shoes? They're called birth control shoes. Really? <laughs> Why do they call them? <laughs> did, did you go to Catholic school or no? Yeah, I went to Catholic high school. Oh well, you know, remember those shoes? If the nuns were still wearing the habits, and they always they used to wear those little lace-up shoes, but it was a little heel. They're like I shall bring them to show you because they're worth a good laugh. But it's called the birth control shoes. Yeah, Why birth is that? Control shoes. Yeah. Why is that? Nobody's gonna get near you when they see those shoes. It's so <laughs> Just natural birth control, huh? They're little, I'll show them to you. I was gonna I'll bring them because they're really I, I need to see it. You know, even the nuns wear it? <clears throat> yeah, but they wore the ones with the little the little heels. But maybe this, I, they might have worn those flat ones too, but they were ugly as hell, those shoes. Really? Yeah. And then and then it keeps the keeps the guys away? Well, that's what I said. They used to call them birth control shoes when I was in the air force. So the one time I never. I I ne he wasn't my husband yet, and I forgot my shoes, and those are your shoes. I had to go to dinner. I can't believe it was I said, I don't care. I'm, I'm going to dinner. I don't care if they don't like these shoes or not, but they are ugly. Said, oh, so you, you wore the birth control shoes? Yeah, because that's the only shoes I have. I'll show you. And then you. what happened? Did it work? <laughs> did he keep them away? <laughs> so how did, how did that date go? Oh, it was fine, but it's just uh, somebody said, oh, those shoes, and then. And they, and they said, you must be in the Air Force. And I said, yeah, I forgot my shoes. I said, I don't care. I'm hungry. I'm coming here to eat. I don't care. Really? <laughs> That's hilarious. Wow, look at this one. This has gotten really big. I'll get to that a little bit, okay? Let me do the nails first. But isn't it something that you can soften it? Just soften it and then... Yeah, okay. yeah. I remember I, I gave you a prescription, but now the, the ure urea cream is not prescription anymore. So you can buy them online. I I'm want gonna... to show you something that happened to the VA, and I thought I put it in, in my bag of goodies, but I guess not. Uh huh. What is it? Are you gonna have lunch for us on Friday? Friday? <laughs> oh yeah, we are. I know you're gonna volunteer, right? Yes. Yeah, to I sort out shoes this Friday. Thanks for doing that. And yes, we have snacks and water, and we got all those ordered for you already. Did you come last week? Or no, two I weeks just ago? Found out about it. Oh, That's I good. see. Yeah, we're uh, we had about five people come over. They sorted all the sorted all the shoes, you know. So we're expecting another five volunteers this Friday. So you're one of them. I didn't realize. So yes, we have food prepared for you. Okay, that's the least we can do, right? Okay. You guys are working hard down downstairs at the. I missed the taco buy the taco thing though. Well, we're going to do it on September 23rd. That's our donation celebration for the shoes. But I'm not sure if we're going to be able to celebrate with all the people coming. That remains to be seen, right? But if we can do it, we'll have the taco truck back. And then we're going to we're gonna do it again, okay? Oh, that's very nice. Yeah. So we'll definitely try to celebrate, uh, get some people together, but if possible. Uh, depends on where where this pandemic goes, right? So just wear the damn mask. Yeah. So, so you've been home most of the time. You couldn't come see me, huh? 
Well, you know, I called one day you were busy, and then I ended up doing some. I, I go twice a week to physical therapy, and I wasn't feeling good on oh, the weekend, really? so I said, I'm, I'm not going to go, and I don't think I have the coronavirus. I just. Yeah. Well, my friend took me with her handicapped grandson to go shopping, and, and she didn't come in with me. I said, That's okay. Well, I hadn't been to Smart and Final. Oh my God, what a cluster. Uh -huh. I was exhausted having to do that. At least I got a guy at the Smart and Final was nice enough to. You know, I, I didn't have my walker or anything with me. I held on to the cart and just to unload the groceries for me. But that was like a workout. Yeah. You had to wait, and was there was there a lot of people in the store, or yeah. they only let so many people in? They, well, no, it, was, it seemed like it was, it was full, but then when it was time for checkout, it was like, oh, my gosh. You had to wait in line to go, go to the checkout, and you had to stay six feet apart, and, oh, get around the corner. Yeah. So, so you have to wait to get in. You have to wait to check out. It's a long process. Yeah, it's a, it's a whole event going and shopping you know, there. If it, didn't have, it hadn't had been hit by the car and had the balance problem, it's just, oh, well. Yeah. This one's really hurt, this one. This, your cows got out of control here. You know? I try to put something to soften it to make it, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll give you a right down for you. Urea cream, you go get at the online. They don't even sell them at the store. How you have come? to. I don't know. They don't sell them at the pharmacy either. I figured they would, but they they don't. That's what my patients tell me. But you can you can order online. It's it has to be forty percent, okay? If it's less than forty percent, it's not very effective. You just put it on this area after you come out of the shower, and then put a little sock over it overnight, and then it really softens it every day, okay? Now you know Dr. Foley, right? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, she's gonna do it. Oh, when she saw my foot oh, a couple months ago, she said, "Oh, she was gonna die." When she saw, I said, "You know, I probably should have had this foot done first, But really, <laughs> okay. I just had pretty feet until I got RA. These, these are like inmate toes. Yeah, you have rheumatoid arthritis, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, right, you're real sensitive. So, how are you managing your rheumatoid arthritis? Very difficult, and there's a new drug coming out that came out. I've had a lot of good reviews of Enzyme or something, and I've had a meeting I haven't seen my rheumatologist since February. Uh huh. Oh, you haven't been able to see a rheumatologist? No, we didn't have this virtual, whatever it was. What is, what is it doing? Just talking to patients from home. Oh, telemedicine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We did a lot of that too when it first happened, but. You know what I do? I can't just talk. You know, I gotta do stuff, right? Yeah. So I'm. Well, I do need to do. So I said, you know what? Doctor, you know Doctor Ginsburg? Yes, yes, I know Doctor oh, Ginsburg. She, she, I love her. Yeah, she's a great lady. She is a great lady. Uh huh. And she, your toes are hiding on me. <laughs> yeah, you're getting better. Yeah, I'm getting better. You're sensitive on these things, huh? Okay, this one, I don't want to do that. Okay. How about this one? <laughs> okay, you are. It's your foot that's not cooperating. Alright? Yeah, you don't like this grinding too much, so I'll do a little bit, okay? I just want the sharp edges off. So you don't poke yourself. But I'm glad you're back. I haven't seen you almost five months with this lockdown and everything. But I've been working the whole time, you know. Yeah, I've been busy. Of, still, I mean, she might have closed for a while, but... Yeah, we never closed. We worked the whole time. Yeah, hopefully that helps. And then she got some urea cream for that hard callus. You put it on every night. All right, and then, I'll have a Yeah, I'll, bring, I'll give it to you, okay? I'll write it down. So you got my shoes. Yeah. Well, I'm going to bring those birth control shoes because they're very... Interesting. Yeah, I want, I, want, I want to see the birth control shoes. See what happens, okay? Thanks for allowing me to film you today. Here's your after shot. Oh, I should pee in my toes. But I was going to ask you, what is all this stuff on my feet? I 